Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This message is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Spirit Guide, Universe, Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Please give me clear precise messages for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Please only take messages that resonate you a little intuitively, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is going through an ending. Okay, so something is ending out in your life. All right. Let's see. So expect communication. That's been coming out a lot lately. We got concern. 33 goes into a six. So something is concerned about something from their past coming back up. We got 24. We'll break down into a six again. So we have two sixes here. Mm. But this 24 came out as the thief card. Okay. So someone could be strategically strategizing on how they can come towards you. Okay. This person could have hidden motives or hidden intentions. I don't know why that creepy music playing in the background. Trust your intuition. Yeah, we got message and pathway. Yeah, be mindful of someone messaging you, calling you. Okay, because someone has hidden intentions with the deep heart and pathway and concern. They're trying to strategize. Yeah, they could be trying to get to your home. Mm -hmm. We got a gift. Yeah, 717 coming out again. They came out of Earth time. So someone sees you as the solution or you have what they need. Uh, they trying to come through with love songs. Someone saying, you got that love that I want. No, somebody is going through illegal issues and they need your help financially. Just period. Yeah, they see you as someone that's very mature and stable, someone that's very grounded, someone that's well off. Okay, yeah, this person is going through despair because they're going through some legal issues, once again. Okay, jail will be on the line. And this person sees you as someone that's very hardworking and stable, once again, with this four-card courtship. So this person might try to come in and build a relationship or have a relationship with you, two, 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 only because they need financial security. Just pray. We just won't get to the gist of it. We ain't gonna shoot code nothing over here or uh, Leo's. I meant fire signs. Yeah, we got coughing, poverty, great fortune, and thoughts. Somebody trying to put their um financial or their karmic debt to an uh, end. They're trying to leave it in the past. And they feel like coming towards you would wash away all their worries or whatever they're having to go through yeah journey and expectation mm. this person feel like you're waiting i feel like you're not waiting i feel like you guys are actually focusing on yourself if this person think you're waiting they got another thing coming okay fire <laughs> you hear the crickets yeah they funny yeah, that's how it's going to be. Like, what? Yeah, courtship and despair. This person has got a lot of stress, okay? Because of whatever this change is that's happening legally. And they're wanting to be in a relationship with you. I just think courtship. But it's to only get them out of whatever they're dealing with as far as poverty. Mm -mm -mm. Let's give them... We got this deep card out here. Too many sevens out here. This is a warning. Adjudication and mature woman. I'm telling you, don't get tied up and tangled with this person. Because somebody is trying to bound you to what they got going on, to a current situation. And you need to stay all the way out of the divine feelings. Courthouse again. And poverty and the coffee card with despair, wealthy man. Yeah, someone is losing a lot of money or having to pay and give back a lot of money. Okay, because they got caught up with a false person. And now this person is in a lot of regret. <clears throat> okay, they holding on to a lot of shame. Sudden wealth. I'm telling you. <clears throat> What's the sudden wealth? Imprisonment and occupation. If someone got a loan or someone got something in their name, they might have to like um, clarify or they might have to show documents on how they got something. This person could have even got a home some way, somehow. 
I'm grateful with your change. What's this occupation and imprisonment? Merge. It's something, this person is married to somebody. Journey. This person could have moved into a home with someone. Could have got something in your name falsely, or they falsely did something to get some form of finances with your name. What's this sudden wealth? Occupation and imprisonment. I'm telling you, somebody is gonna have to prove however they got these this money or this or however they're able to like afford some form of home or something like that. Cause sudden wealth is out here. I told you there's too many sevens. This is a warning. Or this is a tower someone is trying to avoid. Despair again, I'm telling you. And poverty, unexpected income, and false person with main female. Yeah, because whoever they with or around has been receiving money in a um legal in an illegal way. That's crazy. Poorhouse, bro. It keeps coming out. It's like nothing is changing. This high honor and reverse. These people don't have no protection. Messages are concerned. They're worried and stressed out because this is what's currently going on and happening. Yeah, wealthy man and family room. Somebody could be trying to gift you something or give you some money. Do not take it. If somebody is coming towards you to offer you some money or trying to say, oh, I just want to help you or give you this because I'm doing something generous or I have the kindness of my heart, please do not take it. Don't fall for it because it's a scheme. Okay, it's tied to something that this person was tied to because of their past with this woman. Just period, I'm telling you. Message of concern. Yeah, this mature man. They might even come off as like that and change. Summer 17. Oh, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I'm not dealing with this person. You ain't got to worry about this person. But this person is still attached to them and tied to them because it's something pertaining with money. Change and great fortune, bad health expectation. I'm telling you, it's going to put you in a bad place. You take this money from this person, it's going to put you in a bad spot. And it's going to mess up your flow of abundance and everything you have going on. So it's just going to ruin your reputation. Do not. Mm -hmm. It's going to hinder you from your new beginnings. 18 going to a nine with this child card. It's like new beginnings. And nines is all about self um, mastery, self completion, closing out cycles, karmic cycles of that. <clears throat> yeah, this person's going to come in as a lover. 15 goes into a six. We got three. We got 33 with this concern card. That's a six. We got 42, 24 with this thief card. That's a six. And it's coming in with this main male who's trying to come in as in the they have evolved and grown and matured. And they have changed. They see the light. They don't see no light, okay? The only light they see is to dim yours and get you caught up into something because they want to bamboozle you. Somebody's trying to bamboozle you. Yeah. Change. I'm telling you, this person's going to come in like they can change their life. They can give you everything. This is it's like this is your big break. As soon as you accept it or you agree to it or allow it, that's when everything is going to start to crumble. We got bad health expectation. Thoughts, toil, and labor, messages of concern, distant horizons. Mm -mm. Just done. Because this person is not protected. High honor in courthouse. And this person is in a lot of despair and a lot of grief. Okay? It's like they're trying to figure out who they can blame or throw this throw this on to. That's probably why burning money came out of Earth signs because they're trying to get rid of some money. Yeah, this worthy, worthy man. Sheesh, Jesus Louise. Imprisonment. Somebody is going to jail. And great fortune fell on this house. 22. What goes into a full? So something pertaining to home.
Something is coming to an end too with this poverty card. So you can be saying 10, 10, 10, or oh, not a 10. With this poverty, community and imprisonment, it keeps coming out. This person could be in your community, in your neighborhood. Mm, 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 mm. Shit, this could be a neighbor for all you know. That's going through this. Message of concern and high honor. You are protected though. Just don't accept any gifts. Despair. Yeah. This person is in a lot of grief, man. 21 going to a 2. Family one. False person. And she come out with the 8. That's all about money and abundance. 17 with the 8. I'm telling you, trying to frame you. If you accept this gift, 1111 is to frame you. It's going to make you come off as the false person. You was the one that was stealing. You was the one that was doing this. You was the one. You was the one. You was the one. And you're not. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Please don't do it. If one of us go in, then we all gonna do it. Seven, seven, seven again. Too many sevens. Change. I'm telling you, somebody gonna try to come in and say that they change. Because I told you, nines are all about changes. Closing out cycles. It's all about growth. Your soul's ascension. So it's going to try to come in as this mature, wealthy man. Like they didn't grown up. <coughs> they, they, they didn't um, stabilize and balance things out in their life. Um, they're grounded. Grounded. They're secure. 12, 12. When this person is really the poverty card with the wealthy man, they're coming off as that. Portraying to be the 2022. Mm, 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 mm. This person's trying to get you caught up into something. This could go back to that karmic couple I picked up on in the earth signs. That karmic marriage that these two, this man and this woman. And yeah, we got caught up in the courthouse. Could be also dealing with a death plot or some shit like that with the thief pie in the coffin. High on it and with birds. These people don't have no spiritual protection and they're worried. They're scared because whatever they did is coming back. And they try to keep this hidden. That's why they were siphoning from your energy. Because your energy was cloaking them. From who they really were. It was a false couple. Look, they both are in a mask. Because they're both thieves. My eyes irritate me now. 1333. Now my eyes start irritating me. Like my lash. Look, it's a couple. I told you, lovers. Because these changes are happening. When 14 breaks down to a 5, message of concern, they're going through these changes. Unexpected changes. When they try to cause those unexpected changes for you and it's happening to them because they don't have no spiritual protection. Whoever this married false couple is, I picked it up in Earth signs. It's like they keep getting in your energy some way, somehow. Yeah, main female in journey. What's this main female in journey? Unexpected income. And marriage. And we got main male up here. Told you this is a married couple. I picked this up at Earth Sign. They've been doing this for a long time. Could have been 10 years or nine, two, and three. This is a married couple. One, two, three. Mm, 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 mm. They wanted to come off as wealthy and privileged, but the whole time they were stealing. Mm -hmm. 
and this man still thinking about you. That's the crazy part about it. This man did all this with this person, but still thinking about you. Like, you're not getting, like, this person can't get you out of their mind. Main female, sudden wealth in reverse. Change, wealthy man, poverty, adjudication. Yeah, they're going through some. Mm. Something that's illegal. All because of money. It's your energy. I told you, your energy. It's too strong, too powerful. This person was expecting you to be their main or something like that. Like they, I'm telling you, this person was going to come in and portray as though they broke up with this person or they was done with this person, but this person was still going to be on the side. They was going to be on the in in the, in the bushes somewhere. That's what I'm hearing, like an ambush or something like that, bamboozy. Because you was going to feel as though that you was the main the main female to this main baby. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Expectation in reverse. That's what I'm saying. This person was going to lie to you. Because you was probably going to be expecting to be in a relationship with this person. But you was going to be expecting to be the main female, but you weren't. It was just the cause endings in your life. But you are so spiritually protected. It's like you still have a new beginnings anyway with this child card. And your stability is safe. I'm telling you, this person was working so hard in the background <laughs> with this mature woman. Because mm -mm -mm -mm. they start going through financial issues. And they see you as someone that's very abundant and they wanted to come and steal and take from you. Energy harvesting. Pick this up. A false person. I'm telling you, 1717 is a false couple. And all they worried about is how they can get your money. Mm, 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 mm. That's all they worried about is how they can get your money. Despair. Because they want to see you without. Mm -hmm. And they want to see you working hard like everybody else because they like you getting it easily or how is it coming towards you easily. Like they want to figure out what's your recipe or what's your secret sauce or something like that. So they can mimic that. Like somebody is mimicking your energy or at least trying to. Someone is trying to like definitely be you. They're coming off as trying to be you. Somebody wants you to be you so bad. Like they, that's that sister wife says I picked up an earth signs. All this is just... Clarifying earth signs reading. Yeah, mature woman in bad health, but because this person keeps trying to mimic you, it's causing them health issues. Because the more they play and tamper and tap into your energy to try to affect your money or your, stabi yeah, your stability, it's causing them to be more and more relaxed. They might as well just give up the ghost, pretty much, with the change card. Just give it up. Because you're like rooted in prosperity. Like you're going to continue to keep growing. You're not supposed to be stuck, tied down, or held down. Okay? Yeah. Because you're the gift. Okay? 17 breaks down to an 8. It's all for your abundance. Because you do it so you just manifest effortlessly. Four, five, six, seven. Thirty-four going to a seven. Yeah, you're just so spiritually tapped in. Seven, seventeen. Seven, seven, seven is what? Four, 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 three, three, three. You can just be saying a lot of synchronicities. Because you're protected. And your home is too. Levers. This is a karmic relationship. A karmic couple that just won't hop off your net sack. Okay, we got the poverty card. Because they're going through endings. 37 is a 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 7 plus 3. And 4. What's this 4 card? Yeah, because you're staying privileged lady in the courtship. 
three. This is what they wanted to come off as, or this is what this person wanted to come off as. Cause you see, look, <clears throat> 12 is the three, but this is number 12 and this is three. Okay. You, this is what they wanted to come off as, like some form of a like divine couple or whatever. Mm -hmm. Somebody like definitely is trying to mimic you. It's like kind of disturbing. Every time I look at this woman right here on this marriage card, yeah, message of concern is disturbing. Yeah, because after 12, it's 13. And we don't have number 13 out here yet. But it makes sense that you feel disturbed because this person is literally mimicking you. And it's like someone is moving towards you. And child for a new beginning. But they're tied to this person because of the legal issues. Y'all need to make sure y'all ask this person questions if they do come towards you. Because it's saying like every time something goes on with this person, they run towards you or something like that. I don't know what this person got going on. Because they, they in this energy. They need someone to talk to. They got a lot going on. They need to release whatever they have to say that they're holding into their chest. Because this person is afraid now. That I can't say. Because your freedom is on the line. All right, Spurs, let me know before we close this out for my beautiful fire signs. Mm-hmm. That's because this person peak clout over you. Literally. And this person was obsessed with your life, both of them. Or obsessed with your light. Your light. That's what Spirit is saying. They both are obsessed with your light. And they just willing to do anything to get it. Because look at it. You see how in this picture is so much light. Because it's like a fan card. And you see in this picture with Pick Me. It's like they're reaching for that light. They're trying to get it. Because it's so dark. And look. Financial issues. I told you. Because they wanted your abundance. And they was willing to leech off of you for it. Because your energy is so high vibing. And it's like these people don't like the fact that you're exposing them. So that's why they probably wanted to keep you isolated and make you have money problems. Because the more you be isolated and the more that you have blockages in your life, you will be at a crossroads. I'm telling you, this sister wild shit, twin, look, twin sister being mad. Like someone, it was, it's a female that was mirroring you. She was copying off you. She wanted to be you so bad and now she's mad and pissed off. This could be a water sign. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. This is beyond me. What's this twin sister, big man, water sign? Yeah. A, a, a devil, an agent of the devil. A big ego. And control in reverse. Yeah, this person don't have no control over you. This person also could be like very lazy. That's why this person wanted to energy harvest off of you. So they wouldn't have to work or do anything because the money would just fall in their lap. Somebody definitely was cloud chasing off of you. They wanted your life. I'm telling you, they were still married, but this person would come towards you like they was not married. Unfaithful, non-committal, having a party, not playing fair, exactly. This person would still want to be tied in with this person. Sleeping around with you, energy hard, and going back to that person. Yeah, and they keep spying on you secretly. They don't want you to know that they're spying on you. Mm hmm, pretty much. Fake flexing. Mm hmm. Pretending to have money will tell you well, putting on the show in front. And blocked yet. Yeah. You can have this person blocked. This person wants you to unblock them. But you know this person is a snake. Playing games. 
Yeah, because you are a star. Being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized <clears throat> and known. Yeah, this person was a fake divine masculine. Look. It's a fake friend, divine masculine. This person was a fake divine masculine. They was ghosting you and throwing shade on you the whole time while they was dealing with third parties and other people. This is crazy. It's a questionable, suspicious, untrustworthy dishonesty. Bossing up, getting a bag, creating abundance legacy. Yeah, this person was shading you the whole time behind closed doors while they was married to someone else. And him and that person teamed up to go against you. For some of you, your fake friends was involved with this situation. So you got mutual friends between you and your divine master. And this person got caught up in a bad cycle by choosing the wrong people and making the wrong choices. Because this person didn't want to heal. That's the star card. That's what it says. So this person is a karmic master. That's why they ghosted you. They knew what they was doing the whole time. Yes, butting heads. This person fighting, getting into arguments. Someone is in conflict. Yeah, cheater. I'm telling you, this person was for everybody. For everybody. I'm hearing that song. These niggas for everybody. These niggas for everybody. <laughs> yeah, you let this person go. Because you're focused on your happiness. Look, I told you, I could be dealing with an earth sign. Towards the Capricorn. And this person is stalking and talking shit about you. Because they're lusting after your energy. And they keep trying to do black magic to bind you. Fire signs, here you go. This could be you on earth sign or water sign. Take it where it resonates. It could be any sign. But they're disappointed because it's not working. It's like highly pissing them off. Because they want to bind you back to them in this karmic low vibrational cycle. To get you caught up. To deplete you and drain you from your energy. Because this person wants to come and transmute their slimy energy onto you. Yeah, look. Divine feminine. Hell no. Nah. This person wants to cling onto your energy. I'm telling you. This is like a leech. This person is non-committal. So this marriage is an illusion. Because this person has bad behaviors. Bad ways. They're toxic. Look. They have a financial issues. Legal issues. Like, come on, bro. And this person is... Like, they're too double-minded. Like, this person has, like, personality disorder or narcissistic disorder or something like that. Yeah, you just need to speak your truth and tell this person to be gone. Because you don't want nothing to do with their third party, their swingers and shit like that. Their polygamy. Like, somebody is into polygamous relationships. They cannot keep one person. They need three, four, five, six, or the whole damn team. Like, they they just cannot be by themselves. This person have abandonment issues. And they need to suck and drain and, and, and leech onto other people's energy in order to feel like somebody that they're not. Like, this person really has problems that they need to work out and learn from these lessons and heal because this person is not going to Stop doing this until they actually learn from their lessons. And maybe their maybe spirit or the most high ain't like punching it up a notch because it's like they're giving this person warnings. Like this person been getting warnings since they tapped into your energy. And it's like how many warnings you need to get? Yeah, ignoring you. Not calling or texting, avoiding conversation. Yeah, this person is ignoring you. They ignore everything that the divine is saying to them. Yeah, because this person said they're too damn cool for school. Look, they're going through internal conflict. Look, rich, uh, hating, having abundance, material wealth, financial stability, and security. Yeah. This person is having issues with keeping, keeping up with their self. Controlling. This person wanted to control you. 
And because you're financially abundant, or you're just going through a glow up. This person wants to come in and tell you they're random ass. You moved on from this person and told this person the truth. They still want to keep you in a third party situation because they want to use you for money, male or female. You're too high vibration. It's your energy. Yeah, this person do not care. Okay? This person is love bombing you and gaslighting you. They only coming in because they need help with finances. They going to ask you to pay for something or get them some money. And once again, this person keep dibbling and dabbling in black magic. Okay? Like this person keep mirroring you and it's somebody that's around them that's mirroring your energy too. Because they don't want to let you go because you are <clears throat> this star quality energy. You are this star. I'm telling you. This person want to keep masking themselves as a divine masculine. They are a karmic masculine. Just playing that period. Because they're still attached to a karmic merge. A karmic cycle. So this person definitely needs to get up out your energy. But I love you guys. So look, pick me. They're in the dark. They want you to get them out of the darkness. So they can steal your energy and go right back in the darkness. Like now. Mm -mm. Well, I love you guys so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hope this message helps and resonates and gets to those who are in need. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell. Peace.